Number one, Ives Jung Won Young. When Won Young just debuted as a member of Ives One, she was once hated for allegedly putting on an attitude without Yujin. In one behind the scenes video where Yujin joked that she was the leader of Ives One, Won Young immediately gave her a smirk and an eye roll followed by a fiery glance. With such obvious attitudes, Won Young became the topic of criticism. And according to netizens, she was so full of herself that she couldn't respect anyone, even her older members. Plus, as Won Young had the balls to look down on Yujin right when the camera was still rolling, many people believe that the things happening behind the screen must be 10 times worse. However, there were also opinions saying that as contact lenses made Won Young's eyes dry, which accounted for why she rolled her eyes, and wearing braces made her mouth uncomfortable, which accounted for why she moved her lips, the criticism wasn't it. Plus, as Yujin was super close with Won Young, her acting like that was quite normal, since that's what friends often did. However, those reasons seemingly couldn't satisfy people. And when the fuss was still going on, Won Young was caught up in another scandal right in front of many cameras in public eyes. When Eyes One was taking photos before entering the radio stations, the group was arranged to stand in line, but because Sakura must make room for Yabuki, she had to move closer to Won Young. However, right at that moment, netizens noticed how Won Young interpreted that as a sign of wanting to invade her center position, and she immediately pushed Sakura's shoulders away and said, Yosimhe, which was be careful in Korean. Apparently, she was again harshly criticized and people constantly asked her to stop acting haughty, despite being the youngest member of the group. Of course, fans tried to defend Won Young by saying she was just tired from waking up too early, and she was also undergoing puberty, so the public should have gone easy on her a bit. Many fans also pointed out that Won Young obviously felt cramped and the action of pushing Sakura's shoulders was just a natural reflex without any malicious intention. Number 2. Twice's Dahyun. Recently, when Dahyun and Chewie appeared on the radio of Myung Soo to promote Scientist, Dahyun was caught up with a behavior scandal. Though this happened as normally as all radios Twice used to attend, things took a turn for the worse after Myung Soo asked how Twice had been doing on digital charts. Confusingly, Dahyun intentionally avoided answering with a smile. However, Myung Soo was determined to get the answer, which ended up leading to Dahyun's allegedly unacceptable behavior. According to netizens, she had the balls to read a fan's comment on the screen as an answer. Why are you making it so hard? They're twice. Dahyun is a funny girl, but now she's also tired of all these popularity things. Cheer up, Dahyun Ah. When Myung Soo continued to ask whether Dahyun was really reading the comment, she just laughed and said that was actually what was written on the screen. Some also said that, while her words surfaced savage and wise, they were actually just a sign showing she didn't know how to professionally answer the question and respect her senior. Plus, because Twice's achievements for scientists were in fact not really good, she should have accepted the truth rather than acting as if the questions of Myung Soo offended her so badly. However, there were also many people defending Dahyun and praising her for standing up against rude questions. According to them, Myung Soo was the one to work unprofessionally when coming at the girls with such questions, such manners, and instead of helping them promote for scientists, he was literally shaming them on the show. Still, such justifications didn't cool down the harsh criticism. Number 3. Red Velvet's Irene While many K-pop fans thought that the ending months of 2020 would approach in peace, since literally the year was packed with chaos, that apparently didn't seem to be true because right on October 26, a famous stylist in the industry implicitly, but not really that implicit FYI, accused a female idol of her extreme diva attitude. As mentioned, though she didn't exactly fingerpoint exactly who that was, the two hashtags psycho and monster at the end of the post already told it was Irene all along. In the letter compressed with anger, the stylist said that Irene trampled and verbally abused her and was an inhumane idol. While it remains unclear until now what had really happened before the meeting of her and Irene, the courty said that she was warned about what would happen, already prepared mentally for the storm, yet still, she felt as if almost buried alive during the 20 minute meeting with Irene. According to her, Irene's harsh words and cold attitude were so extreme that she, despite having been in the field for 15 years, had to second-guess her competence. With all the evidence and the credibility held in hands as a respected stylist, the public was quick to believe her words really meant something. Moreover, as many other fashion editors, some of the biggest photographers in the industry, models, and former stylists of Irene also liked the post, Irene, for the first time in her life, suffered from great anger of nearly the whole cabiz. Not long after that, Irene released an official statement to address the issue, saying that she was sorry for the foolish attitude and careless words, 
having reflected on her actions to realize the importance of staff members, as well as promising to never make such a mistake again. However, as the public was still triggered, and some Red Velovs even demanded Irene to leave the group, more and more incidents about her allegedly rude attitudes were dug up. The first, and also the one that fueled the fire even bigger, was the one where a Garo Garo Institute reporter revealed that according to a stylist he was close with, Irene made her quit her job because of the allegedly trashy treatment. According to this Cordy, Irene didn't let anyone touch her, and when she accidentally touched Irene without her permission, she smacked the stylist's hand away and had a frown on her face. The stylist also revealed that there was a time that Irene tapped her with her feet, and when she looked down to see what it was, she was shook to see how Irene was signaling that her shoelace wasn't tied, and implying, hey, tie my shoes. Netizens also pointed out that Irene even pulled that diva attitude on the person who has been catering to her most of the time, and the epitome was when she yelled at her manager, Umi, you keep thumping when you run! Like thump thump! While the manager was rushing behind her back. However, not every staff member had the same ashamed experiences. Because, according to some, Irene was actually a caring person. For example, a makeup artist had voiced her opinion through an outlet, saying that Irene often sent out presents to her staff and many members at her salon. Similarly, a choreographer working with Red Velvet for years also posted on Instagram that there had been bad rumors about Irene, but she was actually a hardworking, energetic, and detail-oriented cute girl. So do you think these idols deserve the hate? Or were people just unnecessarily making a huge fuss over things? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe to K-Pop Zone for more intriguing content. See you in the next video.